well viewers i was contacted earlier this month by a company called desert west and uh, they thought that uh, my little channel was the perfect place to showcase the desert west easy clip car mount here is the box whilst my printer does uh, some weird things in the background so welcome to the first episode of the uh, Beige Leather Sofa Reviews. I couldn't actually uh, work out exactly what to do uh, in this uh, product review because it's not the sort of thing we normally cover on the channel, although this is automotive related. And so what I decided to do was put it on the sofa just like a uh, YouTube sensation Dr. Stuart Ashen. Dr. Ashen has been on YouTube since 2006 and uh, he makes uh, very, very amusing product reviews on a brown sofa, which I, I think only a few little bits of that actually remain. Um, I presume he started because he didn't have anything else to put it on, but uh, we have a beige leather sofa because we do like a nice beige leather interior on this channel, and because I do like Dr. Ration and his views of things like poly stations, airphone fours, uh, disgusting food, that kind of thing. Because this is an automotive channel, we won't be having disgusting food. We won't be having, uh, you know, mobile phones and things. Other than just to show you that uh, this is what we're going to be putting in the holder. Uh, we will be talking about performance of this product in the car. The uh, disclosure I must make is I, I did purchase this product on Amazon, but I've been reimbursed for it. And so this is a review which I um, just will be covering the performance of this in a car. I'll be uh, covering the, the different ways that you can mount it and then we're going to be comparing it with other mounts such as this Halfords one here and this Belkin one here as well. That's the one I normally use when I'm filming. So uh, yes, I've had, there's no editorial um, kind of um, sort of um, claim on, on what I'm saying. This is entirely what I think. I have put the paid product promotion symbol on for all of you just to show what's been going on because I was contacted by the company um, but uh, yes they've just reimbursed me for, for what I've bought so it doesn't cost anything to me but I'm free to say whatever I like and I, I can tell you if this thing turns out to be amazing you will know if this turns out to be terrible then you will also know so uh, just so you, you know what it looks like when you're looking for this product on Amazon or something if you're in Britain this is the easiest way to get hold of it Desert West Car Phone Holder 2022 Ultimate upgrade version, mobile phone mount for car with super suction cup phone, cradle, the car dashboard, windscreen, mounts, free hands, free for all 4.7, the 7.2 inch smartphones! Dear me, I should calm down, shouldn't I? That's, that was very, very bad, viewers. Um, so it says uh, mounting type, dashboard, windscreen, air vent, flat surface. Brand Desert West. Special feature won't block your driving shoe. A hundred percent non-shaking on any road. We'll see about that, viewers. Compatible with all iPhone and Android mobile phones. About this item, industry leader. Based on our customer feedback from the first five generations, Desert West presents for 2022 6.0 flagship version, let me get this into the camera shot, it's quite small, version of phone car holder and break again the safety limit of all car mount products on the market. Solid as a rocket equipped with anti-shake technology to handle even the bumpy roads. A powerful clamp and an even more powerful sucker, maybe I'm an even more powerful sucker, make sure your device and amount never falls off. I must apologise to Dr. Rashton in advance for ripping his channel off. 4-in-1 design allows you to install it on the windshield, that's windscreen in this country, dash, air vent or desk. Eco-friendlier, unbreakable mobile phone holder for car. Desert West carefully crafted this car phone mount with highly durable, temperature-resistant aerospace materials. It will not leave any smell or glue marks inside your car. Hmm... Suction cups can be reused by rinsing the adhesive part in warm water, then leave to air dry. We built it not just to meet the international environmental standards, but to exceed them. Because we care about you just as much as we care about the earth. Wow, they care about me just as much as they care about the earth. Isn't that wonderful? 
dynamic vacuum ceiling lock suction cup. Dynamic suction cup can bear a maximum weight of 30 kilograms, roughly the weight of two car wheels, exclamation mark. The upgraded locking mechanism and the robust suction cup effectively eliminate 97% of the air in the suction cup. It's a very specific amount, 97%, greatly enhancing the stability and suction force. The suction cup is modified to be larger and thicker and improve the shock absorption to 100%. 100% shock absorption. Well, viewers, we're going to be testing that out, I can assure you. The Desert West 6.0 phone mount for car can remain motionless and secure in any road condition. Any road condition. Interesting. The ergonomic clamp arm allows for quick picking and deplacing of your device on the mount. The ball joint provides a 360 degree free rotation for you as you fix the phone holder to the angle as you wish. The clamp arms will not Lock, phone buttons, charging port, headphone jack, home button, and cameras. So you mean to say that it won't block the buttons on this at all? Um, you can't really see because it's black phone, but there are some buttons on here. And the charging ports uh, on this particular OnePlus phone are at the bottom. And uh, there's the, uh, ja the, uh, aux the aux jack or headphone jack or whatever you want to call it. At the same time... It supports phones with protective cases thickness up to 15 millimeters, such as Otterbox or wallet cases, but not fit for phones with ring case and or pop sockets. I don't think I've got those on on either of the phones I'll be using. Desert Sales After Sales sorry, Desert West After Sales Service. You don't need to purchase additional Amazon insurance. We promise that every product from a Desert West store will receive a 48 month free replacement service. Wow, 48 month free replacement service. Any problems or questions regarding your Desert West product can be quickly resolved by leaving a message for us on Amazon. In addition, please read carefully the enclosed manual carefully. Did I say carefully twice, viewers? Before installing the phone holders and make sure that your car holder have a longer lifetime. Excellent. Well, um, this product costs... Let's just get these pages in order here. Uh... Twenty-seven pounds and nineteen pence. I saved what well, I didn't save because I was reimbursed to this. Um, Four pounds and eighty pence. There we are. So there is also a cheaper version that goes on the just the air vent, but this is the Desert West car phone holder twenty twenty two ultimate upgrade version mobile phone map for car with super suction cup cradle for car with. Mount dashboard windscreen bow recipe for all four point seven December doing that. So um it's the top version viewers. I suppose we're gonna have to open this up um with the scissors and uh, we'll see what's inside. Exploring premium life. I do like exploring premium life. There we go. That's uh come out of there. So you can mount this apparently in three different ways. Quite a substantial feeling, this actually. It's not really as light. Ooh, that bit. Okay. Where is my manual? Right, that's a sort of bit that you could put on a dashboard if the dashboard's a bit rough. I'm not actually going to use that because actually the car that I'll be testing this in has one of those already. And here is my Easy Clip Car Mount Manual. How many languages is it printed in? Right, we've got English, some form of uh, Chinese, after the English, what else have we got in here? It's quite a long section here in Chinese. Ooh, we've got uh, German. Excellent. I knew that when I chose to read uh, French and German in 2001, that my German degree was going to come in handy just at this particular moment. But there we go, specifications, oh it's, it's Japanese and then, yeah it's Japanese not Chinese. Who said these reviews were going to be professional? Uh, so it's the CTE Z11B, applicable places, air vent, dashboard, windshield, table and so on. The parameters are derived from the laboratory of Desert West. The actual parameters would be different due to product process and other factors. The image shown here is indicative only, but there's no image on the page. But there isn't one. Hmm. 
So there we go. So this is this bit here. It says a uh, silicon pads, quick release button, adjustable legs and clamp arms. Brilliant. Right, with this bit. So it's quite substantial this as well actually. It's um, a bit more substantial than one of the other ones I've got. Uh, ball joint there. The screw knob. So this is this is it. And there's the air vent clip. And uh, should be a retaining nut around here somewhere. So if I can find that in a second. Hmm. I'll have to look about a bit more closely. Um, there we go. So ball joint telescopic arm. Hmm, interesting. Uh, angle adjustment knob. Yeah, that's on there. And then the uh, suction cup is is this bit here. A dashboard pad. That's this bit which you might need. And there's some installation steps here for using the suction cup, uh, which I think I will be. Uh, the dashboard pad, um, and there should be one here for the windscreen. There we go. Twist lock air vent clip. And using steps, it sort of springs out a bit on the side there. After using, please press the quick release button again to open the clamp arms and take out the mobile phone. I'll show the picture. Avoid dropping. Do not disassemble. Yes, it's a like short circuit. We uh, don't want to be disassembled, do we? Please install the car mount in a suitable place for driving. Do not operate or adjust the car mount during driving. That's actually really important. I think you'd probably get in trouble with the police in this country if you did that. Uh, do not install the car mount in places that might interfere with the airbag. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, can you imagine that? Keep car mount away from children. Right, well, I suppose we've uh, looked at the pieces. There's that bit, this bit, this bit, and that bit. Maybe something's in this top bit there. No, it's not. And as you can say, once again, it says on the box, the parameters above are derived from the laboratory of Desert West. The actual parameters would be different due to the production process and other factors. We shall see. Right, viewers, here we are inside my 2003 Rover 45 V6. And uh, here is the mount here. There's three methods for installation. Method one, use the suction cup. Uh, it says tips use the suction cup. It will not. It will do not stick tightly. It will do not stick tightly. What well, that means? When you stick the suction cup on the curved surface, plush cloth surface or an even surface. Okay, that's all right. I understand that. It is not recommended to attach the suction cup to levers, walls, or film coated glass surfaces. So the suction cup is designed with strong stickiness, which may cause surface damage. The suction would become weaker if the suction cup is frequently used at high or low temperature or in humid conditions. Please avoid to expose it to the sun directly. I think there are lots of things that you want to avoid to expose to the sun directly. Please take down the suction cup base and wash it with warm water. If the suction cup is not strong enough after a period of time use, it will be sticky again after drying naturally. Very good. Uh, please ensure the suction cup is covered by plastic wrap when the suction cup holder was removed. We've still got plastic wrap on this one. Very good. Right. Uh, dashboard pad. Now, the thing is, I don't... I've already got a dashboard pad there that was put in the previous owner of a car, so we don't actually need to uh, worry about that, but I'll just show you that we do actually have in here one of these. So there we go. It's single use. Do not pull it off and reuse it. So... Because of that, I've already got one, and so I don't need to worry in that regard. Let's get the instructions again. So that's about mounting a dashboard pad, which I won't be showing you. Uh, right, here we go. So unscrew retaining nut from the car mount and remove it. Yes, I've actually already done that. That's a retaining nut just there. I've actually unscrewed and refitted that. Um, set the ball joint to retain that from the smaller side. Yeah, I've actually already done that. Uh, you take this, this bit off, take it out, put this bit in there, and then tighten it. Uh, push the, the ball joint firmly into the groove of the back of the car mount, then tighten the retaining nut. Yes, I've, I've already done all that. That's a retaining nut just sort of there. Uh, and clean the windshield dashboard. We want to install the car with wet cloth and wait for it to dry. Um, I might actually be skipping that uh, step for you. Is might go straight to the next bit because I am so impatient. If the installation position is not smooth enough, I recommend to use the dashboard 
Padded advance. Uh, it's not through. Push a suction cup for it to be fully open. No right, it's already done that. Uh, tear off the protective film of the suction cup. I'm a bit scared about that, to be honest with you. Uh, but that, that suction cup to the clean dashboard and press down the suction cup to secure the car mount. Okay, I've only got two hands here, so we're going to have to uh, have to do this a little bit differently. I will show you what has happened when I follow those steps. Right, viewers, so that's locked in position. And uh, to open it up, we just click this. Just get my OnePlus phone here to put it in. Problem is in this particular car is that, well, if I had a smaller phone, actually I have got a smaller phone, I might try it with a smaller phone. The windscreen is, is quite raked in this car, and so you can't really mount it where that suction pad is. But just for demonstration purposes, put this other one in. There we go. There we are, and it just sort of goes in like that. And when you want to release it, you press this button on the side, and it goes like that. There we go. So that's the dashboard uh, mounted one on the suction cup that the car already came with, so I don't need to do that. Let's try the next method. Okay, method two. Uh, right using with twist lock air vent clip so i'll get that off the dash and uh, we'll undo the retaining nut and we will we will see um looks like i've got to put i've got to take that whole thing off and then put the other one on that's okay we shall do that now just so you can see it here viewers i've taken that bit off and i've uh, undone that nut and then we should be able to use this bit here in order to put it on there for the air vent holder so there we go i've tightened up this bit at the bottom that is one piece of the air vent holder and i'll see if i can do this with one hand but it might just might not be possible for me to do this uh, to put it onto the air vent we've got very conventional air vents in this car so this i mean it might work there we go what have i managed to do it one-handed yes i have there we go, so we undo that. We'll go for, again, the OnePlus. It's more typical of the sort of size of phone these days that people have. Right, I'm going to have to tighten this up, aren't I? Otherwise, it's just going to keep flopping down. Hold on a second. Right, viewers, I've made a mistake there. You do need to use the uh, original big nut that came with it. I'll just find that and reinstall it otherwise it was trying to break my car of air vents which I don't really want because I need those even though they date back to 2003 just hold on a moment right viewers the uh, larger nut is now on there that should work a bit better let's uh, now try attaching this again it's going to be difficult with one hand but I think we can do this Presumably you'd have two hands you're doing this series. I, I do not because I'm just on my own here. Here we go. Okay. I think I think we're on. There we go. Good. Right. I've got it mounted that way around. You can have it mounted round the other way if you wanted. I'm going to use the smaller of the two phones. We're going to use the Sony. Let's demonstrate this. Hopefully this will now... Yeah, that feels quite firmly attached now. I've got the window open because it's quite warm in here today. That's where we go. I've then got to tighten up that uh, nut at the back, and uh, that should be fine. I mean, that kind of works, but the problem I've got at the back, as you can see, it's crushing my sort of air vent. That's sort of tight. I mean, you you could have it like that, but probably best you put it the other way up. Um, I'm not massively convinced on this air holder thing if you've got vents like the ones that I have. I mean, there is a section in the manual which actually does show that you shouldn't use it with uh, a lot of the vents that are used in modern cars, like the sort of round ones. But we have the sort of square ones, which have, you know, <laughs> this is a Honda dashboard with this car that dates back to 1992. So, you know, a lot of older cars will have ones like this. So I'm going to release that so I don't break my vents. But that's not worked so well. So we're going to look at the final method, which is just to attach it to the windscreen. One of the things I like about the Belkin mount that I normally use is that you can mount it quite easily. 
So we've got a second one there. I thought I'd actually lost this uh, one point, so I bought another one. But I, I'm probably going to be able to mount this with one hand onto the windscreen. Just like that. That's it. That's all I need to do. And to release it, it's just like this. So um, that's the Belkin one. Let's look at the uh, Halfords one. I haven't used this for a long time because it tends to rattle uh, when I'm using it. But we can put that on there. And then there's a little clamp on there that you can use. So that's quite easy to mount. Let's take that off. Okay, we're going to have to prep this one first. Um, but we will attach it to the windscreen as well because that's the method I would use it with. Uh, yeah, but you can see it. <laughs> Unless you um, put this mount around this way, it's almost impossible to use for the larger phones on the dashboard pad. So we're going to mount it on a windscreen. Let's see how this goes. First of all, put the retaining nut back on here. Gosh, this is really hard to do with one hand. In fact, I failed. So I'm going to have to put this on with one hand and then screw it onto this base here. Uh, I'm going to have to use two hands, so I won't be able to film that. Just bear with me a moment. Okay, viewers, uh, let's mount this on the screen and see if we can do this with one hand. Okay. <laughs> I have to take that stuff off, but on underneath here is the stickiest, nastiest sort of gel stuff. And I don't really want to get it on my screen, but I think I'm going to have to for uh, the actual um, time when we go down the road and actually do some proper testing with this. So probably that's what I'm going to have to do because there's sort of little sort of gooey stuff all over here attached to this uh, piece of plastic. And, uh, the only way I got it off my uh, dash pad there was to reattach this after all, but I can see all this nasty sticky stuff on here. So, right. What's have we got it attached to the screen? Yeah, look. Yeah. And uh, come back to you in a second. Right, viewers, we are on there, and my gosh, that's firm. Wow. That is not coming off in hurry. Let's just release that and stick the uh, Sony in here. It's just the smallest of the two phones. It's easier to do it. And then, oh, don't try it again. Because I'm doing this with one hand view. That's why you don't want to be doing this when you're driving because it, it needs two hands to do it properly right. So we're actually in with that. And that's the way I would normally mount it. Unfortunately, I, I don't know where the... Yeah, I need to mount it the way up actually because the camera lens, if I'm filming, is there. So I need to mount it that way up. Hopefully that actually allows me to film. No, no it's, it's covered over the lens entirely. It's the same with, would be with the phone I'm using to film. And also with this, the lens is all in the same place. So uh, I'll have to... I'll have to do it the way up or something. I don't. I don't know. Let's just uh, release that. So I have to do it like this. That's it. We're going to have to have it like that, and then I'm going to have to have to have the. Uh... Actually, I know you can push it down. Oh, there we go. That's what the problem was, viewers. I wasn't pushing it down. <sighs> dear oh dear me, viewers. We we are having problems today. Uh, you know, nothing unusual though. So I push it there. That might work but I can still feel it fouling so mm, uh, it's very good if you're filming this way um, it's not so good if you're filming that way so if you're fil filming inside into the interior that's fine but if you're filming forwards that's going to present some problems right I suppose it's time we uh, took some footage with this uh, which I think is going to be more noticeable it's, it's it's pointing towards the interior of the car so this is what we'll do i'll be using the phone i'm actually holding at the moment rather than the one here but they're kind of similar in size and they're both sony so it should be representative i'll stop wittering now so here we are viewers just start the test route because of the new laws that have come in recently as you can see i pulled over the side of the road and then started the car up so we can make sure that we are all compliant with all legislation. 
Now the sound might not be great, but we're not actually testing the sound of this particular phone today, we're testing the mount. So the road is quite bumpy, but this mount is not moving. I can't, I can't really believe this. It might be shaky on the camera, but normally the, the mounts I use actually move, and this is just not moving at all. We'll go up here and try it um, on the next section. Roads out around where I live are quite bad, and so it's actually quite a good sort of comparison. We've got about 30. Well, it seems pretty good, but uh, you be a judge of it. Right, let's go back and uh, go back to the same place, and we will try the next mount. We'll try the Halfords one next. Right viewers, time for the Halfords mount. Bear in mind that um, this actually was a much cheaper mount. I think this cost something like 11 or 12 pounds. It could even be less than that actually. Whereas uh, the Desert West mount is um, special offer at 27 pounds and 19 pence. So it might not you know, be comparable in that way. But here we go, yeah, it's just, yeah, shaking all over the place. Probably can have the actual mountain rattling as well. This is why I, I, I stopped using this one. It, um, although I've adjusted it as much as I can, there are a couple of ways you can adjust this and make it a bit tighter. I don't think it's um, working as well as the other one. Um, doing the same sort of speed, so exactly the same road. So yes, it, um, it's as fair as comparison as I can make it, really. Right, that's the Halford one. Stop here and turn the engine off. There we go. Must get that reluctant ring ABS in it. So engine off. Winter park, so I can uh, switch this off, and then we'll go on to the Belkin one. Right, viewers. This is the. Belkin mount, which is the one I normally use, actually they're two identical ones. I think this cost about uh, £18 when I bought um, this one both times, I think. So there we go, start up the engine, move off. Just make sure there's no one coming. There we go. So, yeah, again, similar speeds. Just to see, it'd be a huge amount of difference on this particular road between this and the Halfords one, I'm actually quite surprised. It's not, it's not really, um, it's not really very good. Now the, the Rover's got relatively soft suspension actually. So if I was doing this in something like I don't know, an MG3 or Suzuki Swift Sport or something like that, it would be even worse. So we'll go this one. So never just got to about 30. There we go. So yeah, you can see that although I've got automatic stabilisation in this in this camera. It's, it's not really performed anywhere near as well as the Desert West one has. Right, um, one thing I am not able to do in Desert West one is to show you actually uh, driving along um, the particular road with the camera facing the other way just to see how sort of rough it is. I can do it on this one, so I'm going to put it in part, turn the engine off and then I'm going to just remount the phone. Um, and uh, we will see what the road actually looks like when you're driving down it. So here we are, the Belkin mount is in the way as always, because uh, it's a very short phone, the one I use, and um, you can't very easily sort of crop that out, but that's just the way it goes. So down this road, and then down this one. I mean, you can you kind of see with this sort of surface what the surface is like. It's not it's not wonderful, is it? So uh, yeah, well, I was coming down the other side of the road, so that might vary a little bit. But there we go. So that's just a quick test route that I've used. I'll just pull over here and switch the camera off, and then we'll draw some conclusions. So viewers, the Desert West. Car phone holder 
2022 Ultimate Upgrade Version Mobile Phone Mount for Car with Super Suction Cup Phone Cradle for Car Dashboard Windscreen Mount Hands Free for All 4.7 inches and put two inch smartphones. Is this actually any good? Is this something that you should consider? Well, having carried out my my test, and I, I must stress again that I'm not receiving any sort of editorial approval. That there's no um, money that's kind of changed hands for me to say anything about this, other than just the cost of the item and and the uh, shipping being covered. That's it. Uh, this is not a bad product at all. It is a lot more expensive than I would normally pay for one of these things. But particularly if you're filming, I, I can see straight away just how much the phone holds, uh, sorry, the holder holds the phone over rough roads. And, uh, you know, this isn't the roughest road in the world, but it's typical of a lot of the streets that you find in this country. Um, I mean, Eastleigh, which is in Hampshire. Um, and yes, this is well worth a look. There'll be a link to the product in the description below. And of course, at the moment, they're having some kind of sale. So maybe that's something you want to consider. But yes, um, it's not entirely suitable for everything I need because this one allows me to film forward um, in the car. And that one doesn't just because of the design. So that's just something to uh, take into consideration depending on what sort of phone that you have. Anyway, thank you ever so much indeed for watching this episode of Beige Leather Sofa Reviews. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to like this video and leave a comment below. And who knows, at some point we might get another special delivery.